Okay, we're doing every tag in the shirt section, this row of it. This is part one. Tapa is uh, nothing that I could find. That's a Naruto shirt, um, unbranded. I would skip that. St. John's Bay is nothing. Reason is very low, mid-tier, not that great. Nike Dry Fit, basic t-shirt. I'm not going to buy it for seven bucks. If you find something like this at the bins, then yeah. Uh, members Mark is um, not good. That's nothing. Didn't have the hidden camera glasses this time. This is filmed on my phone. Sorry to disappoint. Pebble Beach is nothing. Gold Label is Ass Label. Kirkland is from Costco. We hate it. Ambig is like a skate surf thing. It doesn't do much at all. Devin and Jones is bad. HB is bad. Two Palms. This is like a vintage Hawaiian shirt. Um, was more optimistic about it than I should have been. GH Bass is GH Ass. This is unbranded. Alfani um, is ass. Fila is bad. Vintage Fila can do okay, but I skipped the rest of it. Would skip the rest of it. Under Armour, get it at the bins, skip it for seven buck t shirts. This is the dumbest shirt I've ever found in the thrift store. Um, almost bought it to send to someone as a present, but I doubted they would ever wear it. Look at that face. <clears throat> Yeah, man. Cool. Good. Profound. Gildan, that's printed on a really generic one. That would have been a good buy, actually. There, That would have sold for like 20 25 bucks on eBay. Uh, Nike, basic Nike shirt. Seven bucks, no thanks. That is, what is that? That's a football club. That is the um, Brentford Football Club. And it has okay sell through actually. Greg Norman is a really assy golf brand. Avoid it. Fossa Knob used to be good. It no longer is. It is bad. NFL, this depends on team and player. This was nothing. I looked all the ones up that I didn't know after I was actually there in the damn flesh. Galvin Green is low mid tier. Uh, the polo shirts were not that great. Uh, I would skip that. Badger, that's very generic, nothing. Reebok, skip. <clears throat> Club Room, skip. I mean, there's Reeboks that are decent. That wasn't one of them. Goodfellow is straight ass. Ford, not that great. Even the official branded stuff, maybe vintage. I could, I have no idea what that says. I couldn't look it up. Some Hawaiian shirt, probably nothing at all. Um, that is, what is that, Nike? Massimo, skip. That's Target brand. Goodfellow, I think is Walmart. I skip all of it. I don't... Yeah. Under Armour again, really basic stuff. Cook Street. Avoid it. Kennington, frustratingly bad. It looks like something that should be high sell-through. It is not. It never really has been. I've sold it a few times, but it just doesn't work. Not as well as you think it might. Duck is... Low, mid-tier, typically avoid. Land's End, avoid. Under Armour, again, seven bucks for t-shirts at Goodwill. No thanks. Gold Label, Roundtree in York, no, that's a pass. Goodfellow is a pass. Coastal is a pass. Wrangler, um, I didn't look that one up, maybe, but I doubt it. Silverstone, no. Union, no. Foxfire, no. Even the 2XB looked it up. Sell-through is bad. <clears throat> Calvin Klein, no. Ashworth is Ashworth. Under Armour, no. Uh, that's some nothing brand. Wesk, We Are Superlative Collective, is um, not good. Another brand that looks like it should be worth something, but it just is worth nothing. Fila, pass. NBA, if this was Air Jordan, I would say maybe, but I would pass on that one. Ben Sherman, pass. Alfani, pass. Fanatics, I guess depends on the team. It's typically pretty cheap stuff. Cool shirt, that's an antidote to the Jocko Willing shirt. Unbranded, if that was in my size, I would have gotten it probably. MD Fashion. Uh, is not good. Vintage Hawaiian shirt, really low sell-through. 
Denim and Flower is part of uh, one of those scammy fast fashion subscription boxes, and it's terrible. Uh, Brixton, this was actually, this would have been a good purchase. Uh, Brixton has rebounded a little bit. I looked up the sell through on Brixton XL button shirt, and it was pretty good. It was almost 100%. So that specific item, yes. Brixton generally can be a little treacherous. Champion, Contemporary, skip it. Adidas, Contemporary, again, too basic. Not going to spend more than like a buck on that. Express, eh, no. Old Navy, that's a linen blend. You'll see me looking at the material tag. 100% linen, fast fashion, even the really um, bad ones, the bad brands like Old Navy can do fine. That's a linen blend. All in motion is trash. Old Navy, activewear trash. This, I couldn't see a brand. Passed on it. HB, really bad. Theory is a good brand, but this is a bad buy. Uh, seven bucks for polo shirt. The polo shirts, men's polo shirts are really, really bad sellers right now. I looked up the numbers and was shocked by how low they were. You'll see me give a fool's thumbs up, uh, right here. There it is. What a fool. I was wrong. Uh, theory you should, you should, uh, take a second look at in a good and bad way. If you get what I'm saying. Nike SB, about 50% sell through on Nike SB t-shirts. Um, Nike SB... Typically does better than just vanilla Nike stuff. It's a good one to look out for. Under Armour again. Rep Curl is trash. <clears throat> Under Armour again. Tons of Under Armour. You find it all the time. That's a Beatles t-shirt from P Pampling. That's a bad brand. I looked it up. That's nothing. This kind of stuff you can buy at Walmart. Goodfellow, no. I mean, if you found like a vintage Beatles shirt, that's a different story. Nike, Aero React, that's actually a buy. XL, Aero React Polo is doing really well. The margins are going to be marginal, seven bucks. It's going to flip for like 20, 25, but sell through is healthy on that one. Joseph and Fies Pass. This is a new with tags, or a dead stock, rather, Cross Creek Pro Collection. Vintage, Supima cotton polo shirt. I maybe would buy this at the bins to flip it to like a Buffalo exchange, but the sell through on eBay is terrible, even though it is a weird color. Uh, nine bucks, no thank you. <clears throat> Nike softball, low sell through. Contemporary polo, t-shirts, basic stuff, skip it. Fashion Nova, even new with tags, skip it, skip it like the plague, terrible brand. Ten bucks, no thanks, pass. Nautica is bad. Vintage color block Nautica stuff can be do good. Uh, Russell. <coughs> Excuse me. Can't talk. Not good. Skip Russell. Eddie Bauer. Eh, maybe the bins. Really basic piece like that. Not so much. Billy Reed. That's marginal. That could be a buy. Seven bucks is really pushing it, but the sell through on t-shirts is healthy. Billy Reed is one of those brands that's just kind of like you have to know exactly where you're putting your money. Um, don't remember what that was, but that was a pass. Cuba Vera, pass, 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 pass. Maybe if you find 100% linen at the bins. Otherwise, overhype brand uh, I have learned to avoid. Uh, was that a Cook Street? Yeah, Cuba Vera, skip it. <clears throat> Columbia. I would guess that the Cuba Vera linen pants and shorts probably do okay. Uh, Arrow, pass. Some of the vintage Arrow can do all right, but not great. Even 3XL. Seven bucks. Um, yeah. Goodwill can go somewhere and do something. Uh, apartment 9, pass. Really bad. Uh, try it. Yeah, this is the oops all ass edition of this series. Addy Pure, again, another one that looks like it should be worth money, and it isn't. Terrible sell throw on Addy Pure. Skip that one. Don't know what that is. This is a pass. WXYZ, terrible sell-through. Some, I don't know. This is like the kind of stuff that they, that winds up being in uh, Ross. Seven bucks, no thanks. And I accidentally drop it into my basket because I'm working one-handed. That was not a pickup. I did not pick that up. Good Nordstrom pass, good fellow. Uh, most Nord Nordstrom pass, good fellow. Even new with tags for seven bucks, I'm passing on. I didn't even run the numbers. Maybe that is a mistake, but Goodfellow is just the assest of ass. Izod, ass. Step Brothers, t-shirt. <clears throat> didn't even bother to look it up. This kind of like super popular pop culture stuff in terms of t-shirts. It's just so overexposed. 
that was new with tags nike would have picked it up had it not had the uh company logo on the front this is an unbranded nothing polyester zip up polo looks weird but no thanks quicksilver no thanks hudson river pass <clears throat> mondetta another brand that should maybe be worth money or that that's how it seems but it almost never is really cheapy kind of like yoga type clothing mostly women's clothing they do a little bit of men's another under armor sonoma is terrible tommy bahama pass on it uh, these polo shirts have never done well with uh raider i did not even bother to try to look this up i'm not searching for raider uh even under the brand category it's one of those frustrating brands so i don't know maybe maybe um that's some nothing brand nike dry fit this is a new york yankees branded nike dry fit polo in size large if i found that at the bins 100 seven bucks no thanks about 50 percent sell through on those for uh the yankees rugby university is a nothing brand um that even looks new i passed on it toscano terrible <clears throat> nike t another bins item it's got a weird graphic on the front um not spending seven bucks on it blue 84 is uh nothing another under armor tech p uh not for seven bucks another kirkland cornerstone bodega has low sell-through it is not worth anything it is new with tags looks all crazy another one if i found it at the bins i might flip it to uh buffalo exchange because they probably take it but i'm skipping it here alfani skip under armor polo maybe the same person donating all this jim thompson classic was not impressed maybe like a quarter sell through and the prices were not great another denim and flower it'll trick you because they have all these ostentatious patterns almost none of them are worth money van Heusen is a pass this is some freebie padres thing skip that great land pass even though it's vintage even though it's crazy print pass on honolua not impressive I would skip another Alfani. We skip Alfani around these parts. Champion, contemporary champion. You already know what I'm going to say. Disney, contemporary Disney. Not for $7, my friend. No, 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 no. Maybe for a buck. Fila, skip it. Another dead stock, vintage, nothing, golf knit polo shirt. Skip it. You can just tell from the tag it's cheap. Nine bucks. Go unto hell. <clears throat> Dry fit, skip it. I mean, don't skip drive it, but you know, you get the context. Expensive. Uh, Mondetta, again. Calvin Klein. <laughs> 18 greens. Nothing. Couldn't even really find it on eBay. <clears throat> and then Wham Denim. Uh, nothing. It looks, it's got like faux leather hits on it and stuff. That's what's called a Henley shirt. It looked like it might be something that would be worth money. It is not. W-A-M. That is the end of part one. There is a second half to come. There are more pickups in the second half. Obviously, this is catch and release because I am uh, stepping away from actually doing the physical reselling. But I was shopping for myself. Figured I would allow you to witness the strength of street knowledge. So thanks for hanging out. Part two to come.